Hi guys and welcome back to the Paper Oligarch channel where we talk about everything finance. Let's check out how the Pyramid portfolio performed this month and at the end of the video there is also a bonus section where we go through my investment decision model. So stay tuned until the end. I hope you'll find this information as useful as I do but and here goes the usual disclaimer, please note that this is not investing advice, it's just my portfolio as it stands on April 1st 2022 before the opening bell and thus can change at any time without any previous notification. Following an investment strategy without doing the work yourself is almost guaranteed to result in losses, so please be careful since it's your own responsibility to do your own research before investing. Anyways, with that out of the way, let's begin. This month I have only one new purchase, which is uh, Coinbase, and it was because I wanted to explore the idea of crypto shovels. If you're familiar with the gold rush, there is a story that the people that got rich were those that were selling the shovels, not those finding the gold. While this might be technically untrue, the message is that you don't really need to know who will be discovering the gold, in our case which cryptocurrency will be successful, if you are the one selling the shovels to everyone. Basically the idea is that Coinbase should do well no matter which ones perform and or disappear completely. While this investment is uh, included here in uh, my growth portfolio, it can also be semi-asymmetric risk rewards. So it's kind of shooting two birds with one stone. The next big uh, change is Nuclear Electrica. If you remember last month, I almost sold completely my position in the company. The ticker is SNN on the Romanian Stock Exchange. And this was just before the price collapsed due to the Russian invasion of Ukraine. So, one of the six hedge scenario that I predicted, basically I asked what happens if the stock goes up and the market goes up as well? What happens if the stock goes up and the sector goes up as well? What happens if the stock goes down but the sector goes up, etc. The scenario that materialized was the, the stock going down, so me selling between 42.5 and 46.5 allow me to buy back my position somewhere between 20, 31 and 37.5 resulting in a nice profit. There is of course a cave hit like uh, it rebounded uh, much too quickly and I could have bought more but as our friend Borat would say overall it was a great success. Usually I don't try to time the market but in my portfolio the way it was set up at the time this play was pretty obvious and there was very little down downside. The war wasn't necessarily obvious but uh, something happening which will cause the stock to go down was. Other than those two positions I just dollar cost average some of my other positions on the lows. The biggest uh, change being the fact that uh, Aquila is no longer on the short watch list where if you remember I buy somewhere under $100 only to keep an eye on uh, a certain asset. But now I have a much more uh, significant position in it. I also bought some gold as well as uh, bought some of the other companies that I was invested in. This uh, resulted in uh, the current portfolio, which you can see it here. You can check it out with uh, the portfolio from uh, last month, but uh, things are uh, looking uh, a little bit better. We are more in the green than last month, but uh, nothing really impressive to write home about. One thing that I'm uh, truly happy about is that I feel comfortable keeping this portfolio for the next 20 years if that is the case. By the way, a joke that I heard recently goes something like this. You know you're serious when no matter what your favorite color was before you started investing, now your favorite color is green. Anyway, a bit cringe, but I liked it. So, the portfolio 
allocation is as follows. There were no changes to the asymmetric risk return assets. Actually, they went a little bit up, but not enough to make a change in the percentage. There is a significant change in growth stocks, and this is mainly with the Coinbase play as well as the dollar cost averaging. Uh, also, there is the increase in value stocks with uh, nuclear electric army purchase. Actually, the bonds and the real estate, I did not uh, tamper with those allocations, but because uh, the others went up, they actually went down a little bit. I also bought a little bit of gold, and of course, the cash position is uh, significantly down because I used cash to buy on the lows. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, please hit me up in the comments. As promised at the beginning of the video, now we'll briefly go through my investment decision model, which I called 1.0 because it always, very slightly, changes for each of the assets that uh, I uh, analyze. So you should see it more as a starting point rather than a fixed investing paradigm. Please also check the description of the video for some attached resources exploring the investment model. Without further ado, let's begin. First and foremost, please do your research. There is nothing that beats that. On the one hand, I think that uh, reading uh, the news about the company every day is uh, mostly a waste of time. I also believe that uh, doing it for a little while, especially at the beginning, gives you an idea, which I call the pulse of the news that comes out. Basically, is the management over promising and under delivering or vice versa? Are analysts accurate in their predictions about the company or they miss a lot? Are you happy with how things are going overall, etc. Now, where to find investment ideas? Of course, the first one would be to check out the products or services that you use regularly and of course that you love. Another idea would be to clone other investors. A third one would be to find downstream companies. For example, suppliers, partners. So if uh, Apple has a great year in selling iPhones, probably the company that is providing the chips for the iPhones will also have a pretty good year. Also, of course, in books, newspaper, YouTube videos, Instagram, etc. Once you have some ideas, I recommend adding the high potential ideas to the watch list. You shouldn't jump and buy the company immediately, but rather monitor it for a while to see if your thesis was correct or not. For example, this is part of my current watch list. As you can see here, I have assets from 2019 that I haven't yet bought, a single share of, and of course companies from 2022 that I bought, and vice versa. So there is no predefined period, but you need to watch it for a little bit at first. Here, I also want to remind you, if you're unsure, to buy a small amount, under 100 bucks, of one of the assets if you really want to track it, since your reticular activation system, RAS, will start tracking and your brain processing differently the information that comes out from uh, this investment. Next, while the asset is uh, on the watch list, I start creating a one-pager decision file, basically doing a fundamental and technical analysis, find the biggest competitors, have an intrinsic value calculation. You can see in the description of the video and also at the URL posted here, I put a one-pager decision file for Prosus, which is uh, the investing arm of uh, NASPERS, with uh, its biggest uh, ownership being 30% in Tencent. So if you are curious, you can check this out, but uh, of course this is not uh, complete. You should just see it as an idea or a starting point. Next, you have to make the decision. 
this can be done by comparing the current price with the calculated price from the one pager decision file this is uh, known in the value investing side as the intrinsic value of the company also look at the potential upside and risk first try to estimate the holding period even if you're not uh, it's not exact you still have to have an idea on when this it can be considered a successful or an unsuccessful investment also check out if there are currently any better alternatives and again consider making the small purchase of 100 bucks just so you you can uh, track it more accurately once you do the analysis you need to make a decision please note that this decision is as much qualitative meaning going by feeling than it is quantitative based on data big investors might be able to explain why they bought a stock but unable to explain why they didn't buy another stock with the same technical performance this is why currently no one was able to write a computer program to beat the market because it's not all about the numbers while of course the numbers are still very important and last but not least is to buy and hold once you made your decision to buy an initial position make it as high as you feel comfortable with but also try and leave some room for dollar cost averaging if the market initially goes against you so if you plan to own five percent first try to buy somewhere around three percent and then dollar cost averaging to five percent in the worst case scenario and in the best case scenario usually if it goes up by 15 to 20 percent i also have uh, a little bit of dollar cost averaging to increase my position while still keeping a healthy margin in case the price goes down again this is what i find it suits my personality but the most important lesson in uh, this step is to let your winners ride meaning that the money is made while you hold not when you buy or sell Thanks for watching this video and if you are interested please like subscribe and comment while I'm still poor enough to respond to the comments that you put in. By the way I plan to do a video on the importance of having an idea partner like uh, Buffett and Munger, George Soros and Stanley Drachenmiller, Nick Slip and Koi Zakaria, etc. But I think that with the current technology, this can become a little bit irrelevant and we can model this in a YouTube comment section. Anyways, if you are interested in our overall strategy and approach, please check out our older videos as well and have an awesome day and see you next time.